This build was recommended to me, and it's quite the fun build. Executioner and Plast Creek Catalyst, both overclocks granting massive bonus damage against the bugs. What Executioner does is grant you faster lock-ons and 50% bonus weak point damage with full lock-ons. At the cost of full ammo in both magazine and pool, and less max lock-ons. But you could see less lock-ons as a bonus for this overclock. And Plast Creek Catalyst gives your Shard Defractor a unique feature where you shoot at your platforms with the beam to do double AoE damage for a few short seconds before it triggers an explosion that deals massive damage to those around it, including your teammates. Both overclocks are amazing, but let's see how this fares against the bugs. Also make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Alright, let's try this again. I was trying to record this earlier. I got through the mission. I failed. So let's just let's just say that I failed. But on the bright side, I wasn't recording the entire time. I was literally just sitting here, just talking to myself, like I usually do. And I wasn't recording the entire time. So that's cool. But thank goodness I didn't record because I lost that mission. So saved me some some uh space on my computer. Now let's actually record. And I'm I'm Yes, okay, I am recording. So anyways, back to the conversation that I was having with, I guess, myself. Me and my girlfriend are going to go and see the FNAF movie on the 26th. So apparently it's coming out a little bit earlier, because I, I believe it's supposed to come out on October 27th. But it's actually coming out on the 26th here. So that's pretty cool. This will be actually be my first movie I actually see on opening day. I've never seen a movie on opening day in my life. So this will be my very first one and it's going to be a good one. It's going to be fun no matter what. And it's just something fun to do with my girl. Speaking of stuff that I did with my girlfriend, me and her last week, we went to this like Odyssey's Expo thing. I don't know the full name of what it's actually called. <laughs> I don't know what the full name of it is actually called. But we went to this Odyssey's Expo where they had a bunch of like Halloween stuff. Like they had a lot of really cool stuff actually. They had a lot of these like animal, uh, animals in jars where it was like a, it was like a liquid that would turn the animals like skin. I think it was like, um, geckos that would turn their, their like skin, uh, clear. You can actually see, you can actually see the skeleton inside the little bugger. And it would turn it purple too but the problem is is that for the smallest one it was like thirty dollars like what the hell <laughs> but it was still really cool to go and see i actually bought a few stuff there i bought me and my friends pins i got some pins on my hat as well i bought this really cool funny shirt of a dinosaur with an ak <laughs> and then i also bought this really cool ring we were going through the the person's stand and we were just like walking around and then like out of the corner of my eye i just spotted it the plague doctor ring and i was like oh hell yeah you're mine grab bye i immediately wore it for the rest of the expo yeah no that was really fun oh there's bugs no here deal with this ah oh, cave leech help help lloyd help help this cave leech don't make this be like how it was last game. Please, Lloyd. Please, please, please. Thank you. Run into cover. Oh! Die. Uh. Not like last game. Not like last game. This is how I died last game. <laughs> I died last game to this cave leech that was just in the roof. And for some reason, Lloyd would not get to me. I wish I was recording that because I felt like a glitch. What ended up happening was he got stuck inside the terrain and he would not come to me. And I even saw it like he just froze in in like midair. Listing tail, I'm like right here. Really had to grab onto me. Nope. Uh, you know what? I'm taking you fuckers with me. <laughs> I'm taking you guys with me. <laughs> There's still a lot of you left. Okay, Lloyd. Okay, cool. 
You're not stuck in the ground. I was like, am I just soft locked again? I feel like juggling it does better than the explosion damage. <laughs> no, my Steve. No. My Steve. Ow. Really? Alright. Anywho. <laughs> We don't need a repeat of last game that I wasn't recording. I don't get the appeal of the the whole plastercrete overclock. I don't really like it a whole lot. Uh, I think I'm just a firm feedback loop enjoyer myself. All the overclocks are really good for shard diffractor, but I just don't necessarily like the the appeal behind plastercrete. It's, it's like really cool and it does clear out a lot of the swarm and it does a lot of damage, but it's just like, it's really tedious. It's just tedious having to place down the platforms and then like spray at them. I'd rather just shoot the beam and the bugs die. D do call me out if I'm wrong, but I remember this overclock being different in the beta before it came out. I remember it being like when you shot at the platforms, the beam would like reflect off of it and whatever it would reflect off of like or the platform would reflect off of it would leave like a massive aoe that would just do extreme damage and so i just remember people only shooting one platform just so that way they can just do the the aoe and not do the funny for reflecting the beam around the cave it was a funny idea but like <laughs> hell it was so stupid yeah no i i do remember the that right the beam would just go because now now we shoot at a platform and it still does the aoe but it just it explodes after a while so that way we can't always shoot at the platform kind of still do wish we had that overclock just maybe make it a a clean overclock and make the aoe do less damage that would be really cool yeah <laughs> If you just do this <laughs> and then do this, there we go. <laughs> Damn, Dark Morkite is just really good. Well, got all the Morkite. I do want to still explore to see if there's like a machine event or something down below. Famous last words. I want to explore more. Do, wait, huh? What? Excuse me. Okay, yeah, this really was my famous last words, because uh, I don't want to stay for that. <laughs> what? What do you mean? <laughs> what the hell? How rare are rockpox swarms outside of a rockpox uh, lithophage outbreak? It has to be rare. Wow, okay. Hello. There you go. Go, SSGs, go. You're my only saving grace right now, dude. <laughs> I wonder if this actually pops the rock box. Guess we'll see. <sighs> We're doing good so far. Just keep the SSGs going. Just keep switching between the two. It does, actually. Hey, yeah. Uh. <laughs> no, 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 no. Not the worms. Not the worms. <laughs> this space plague is the worst. Definitely one of the more interesting plagues that I've seen, though, for space. I wonder how they're, they are actually going to do season five, though. How they're going to allude to rogue core. Maybe it'll be the backstory of how all the mining operations just went silent. I think they're calling it the gray event. Ooh. Nope. Just, just stay like that. Okay, anyways. Bosco? You see this shit? The moment something's in his way, yep. The moment something's in his way. No! <laughs> Anyways. Just gotta keep edging the the platforms so that way they don't they don't go off. Is this the last cave? I think it is. I swear though. 
the moment Bosco has something in his way and you try to get him to do anything, he's just like, man, look at that pebble. It's so pretty. Yeah, I wonder I wonder if that's what season five is going to be is just the the predecessor to why rogue core is happening. It's probably going to explain why all the mining operations went dark. And we'll probably get to see what the the reclaimer and we're probably going to see what the reclaimers look like, too. Like maybe we'll get reclaimer armor. That would be pretty cool. Mm, bop. <laughs> Though I don't see the appeal for plaster Cree all that much. I do got to say it is still really, really useful for clearing out swarms of bugs. So hell yeah, man. I think even the smallest amount of the beam on the platform just does massive AOE damage. So you don't even need to explode it. You just got to edge it like this. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm out of here. Give me the hell out. Yeah! Ah, oh, I love that plague mask so much. Nice. And only one down. Oh. Wait, I also put the loot bug one on my engineer. Whoops. Oh, there he goes. <laughs>